Now to the bombshell in a murder case that made headlines for years. ABC's Andrea Fiji has more on the Scott Peterson murder case. This morning, prosecutors in California are evaluating the stunning development in the murder case of Scott Peterson. He's the man convicted of killing his wife, Lacey, and their unborn son on Christmas Eve 2002. Their bodies were found months later in San Francisco Bay. The Innocence Project, known for helping overturn convictions, is now taking up the case, writing, evidence has been discovered that points to Mr. Peterson's innocence and points to the actual perpetrators of the crimes against Lacey and Connor Peterson. Peterson has maintained his innocence all along. No, no, I uh, just not. And I had absolutely nothing to do with her disappearance. At his trial, prosecutors argued Peterson murdered Lacey to escape his marriage and impending fatherhood, presenting evidence including Lacey's hair in his boat and suggesting he used a tarp and concrete anchor to dispose of her body. A key witness was Amber Frey. First of all, I met Scott Peterson November 20th, 2002. Frey, who was romantically involved with Peterson, told jurors she had no knowledge of his marriage until Lacey's disappearance. I was introduced to him. I was told he was unmarried. Scott told me he was not married. Peterson's alibi was that he was fishing the morning Lacey disappeared, but he was convicted and is currently serving life without parole. Now, the L.A. Innocence Project is seeking new materials to be presented in court, claiming a burglary across the street from the Peterson home was not fully investigated. The group is requesting more DNA testing of this burned-out van found one mile away. The Innocence Project also claims witnesses who saw Lacey the morning she went missing were not properly interviewed. Andrea Fuji, ABC News, New York. Experts say the next step will likely be a response from prosecutors. If they agree with the motion to present new materials in court, it would then be up to a judge whether to grant a new hearing.